Hey, how's it going on YouTube? Welcome back to yet another amazing video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize Marvel Rivals Season 4.5 for better FPS, get better performance and fix all kind of lag stutter and FPS drops. So make sure to stick around till the end of this video and with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Alright, step number one is the best window settings and for that simply search for settings onto your PC and once you're over here, come down to personalization. Then head over to colors and then you wanna have to disable transparency effects. This will disable windows and surfaces appear translucent which consumes your system's performance a little bit. Then head over to gaming, head over to game bar and simply turn this thing off since it is an overlay service, it consumes your CPU and RAM resources in the background and you don't want that while you're playing the games. Then click on gaming again, head over to game mode and this one you have to turn it on. It will optimize your PC by turning things and applications off in the background allowing your PC to perform better. Then click on the graphics button underneath and you wanna have to enable optimizations for windowed games as this will help you to reduce input latency by using advanced features and click on advanced graphic settings and enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling as this setting will help you to utilize your primary graphic card that is your hardware related graphics on your PC. Then you wanna have to click on add desktop app button over here and go to the download location of Marvel Rivals. For that you can open up your Steam, right click on your game click on manage and then click on browse local files select this file path and press ctrl c to copy it now you have to come over here and paste this file path then head over to marvel game marvel binaries win64 and then you have to select marvel rivals win64 shipping.exe click on the add button and then you have to come down to find it select it and then for the gpu preference select high performance and make sure that it is utilizing your graphic card once that's done simply close it next step is disabling background applications and for that simply search for local group policy editor and click on edit group policy once you are here double click on computer configuration then administrator templates windows components app privacy and right over here you'll find something called let windows apps run in the background double click to open it up and once the policy opens up you want to have to make sure that the policy is set to enabled and default for all applications should be set to force deny this will enable the policy to force deny the applications running in the background allowing your pc to perform better before moving ahead i want to introduce you guys to aniba which is a marketplace with over 30 thousand digital products and a growing interest in expanding libraries to meet all your needs at aniba you can find cheap games a windows key game pass and a lot of other cool stuff you can also buy discord nitro over here you can simply click on the categories section and then select from the categories they have products for mobile games pc games game cards e-gift cards xbox psn nintendo and a lot more my personal favorite is the windows key over here where you guys can get original windows key for a great discount Aniba supports global regions so you can select and pay in your own currency and once you're under the payment you will get your keys in the email within 5 to 10 minutes you can find all of the keys in one page that is another trending section where you guys can select any product from their hot picks and get it at an absolute discounted rate. Aniba has a 4.3 star rating with over 246,000 reviews so you know that they are trusted. And Aniba believes customers shouldn't have to worry about their purchase and that is why they offer 24-7 live support to help with any questions about your purchase. Simply go to their contact page and click on create ticket now to resolve any of your issues if you face one. I have left a link to aniba.com in the description below. Make sure to go check out for all your games and gaming needs. Next step is compatibility settings and for that go to the download location of your game. Head over to Marvel game, Marvel binaries win64 and then select the win64 shipping. Right click on that, head over to its properties and then click on compatibility. Then you have to disable full screen optimizations and then you have to click on change high dpi settings select the first option over here and set it to application click on ok and ok once again and this will help you to fix unwanted input latency next step is disabling sysmain and for that simply search for services on your pc and open it up select any service press s on your keyboard come down to find sysmain this is nothing but prefetch and you have to disable it double click on that and make sure that the startup type is set to disable if it is already running click on stop and click on apply button this will help you to save a lot of your cpu resources and i'm talking about 15 to 20 percent of difference just by disabling this one setting next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a 
register point on your PC and then you will have to come down and select local list C. Click on the create button and name it Marvel Rivals just so you can remember this one. I highly recommend you guys now to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any kind of data loss. Once that's done, simply click on close and close system properties. The next step is Marvel Rivals season 4.5 FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You guys will find in seven very simple and useful folders over here. The first one is CPU priority in which I have left AMD CPU priority and Intel CPU priority. If you guys have an Intel CPU like me, you can double click and apply this priority for your processor and it will help you to set up the correct default value for optimal performance. Second folder does the same thing for your RAM. I have left a ton of presets over here. You can select according to your system. I have 32 GB RAMs. So I need to apply this one. Simply double click and apply this on your PC. And if that doesn't work out well for you guys, you can always reset it back to default. Third folder over here is the game priority itself in which I have left above normal, high priority and normal priority. I'd recommend you guys to leave your PC specifications down in the comments below and I'll be individually telling you guys which priority you need to choose right over here. Fourth one is disable unwanted services in which I have left all of these services which are absolutely useless but they still run in the background of your PC and consume your system resources. To fix that you can double click and apply every single one of them and this will disable those services. Once again if you use any Bluetooth or printer services just leave them. And once again by any chance you disable any service that you want again head over to revert registries folder and you can turn them back on. Fifth one over here is power plan settings in which I have left import ultimate performance power plan. This is a very useful tool as it will help you to disable all kind of power saving features on your hardware. So to apply that right click and run this as administrator and this will run a powershell command on your PC. Then double click on power plans and then you wanna have to click on show additional plans and select ultimate performance which should be available over here. This setting itself will help you save a ton of PC's performance and optimize your FPS by a ton because it helps you to disable all kind of power saving features on your hardware. Sixth one is improve input delay and over here I have left keyboard latency fix in which I have left all of these keyboard buffers. This is a default keyboard buffer which is by default set on your PC and you guys have to select from low end to ultra high end. And for that, I would recommend you guys to leave your keyboard model down in the comments below. I'll be telling you guys which buffer you need to choose over here. Next is mouse latency registries in which I have left fixed mouse curve. I'm gonna have to double click and apply it. And this one helps you to set up your correct mouse sensitivity X and Y curve to optimize your mouse input latency. Last is the programs folder in which I have left clean temporary files dot batch. You're gonna have to right click and then run it as administrator. Once it opens up, press enter on your keyboard and this will delete all temporary files right off your PC, which is absolutely useless. And they might might be creating cache related issues. Next is quick CPU and this is just a setup file you have to install it on your PC and open it up. Once it opens up what you guys have to do is simply slide all of the core parking frequency scaling turbo boost and performance indexes up to 100% and click on the apply button. Make sure that this setting over here is same as onto your PC and uh, once that's done simply close it and then you can close the fps pack next step is fixing all of your packet loss ping issues and other network related issues using no ping i have left a free download link right in the description below simply come here and click on try now once you're over here what you have to do is simply look up for the game and they have a library of more than 1000 games to choose from simply search for marvel rivals over here and click on the game then select the server which shows you the lowest amount of ping as it is showing me over here 66 milliseconds what you have to do is simply click on optimize the game Game. and this will one click connect your PC straight to the game servers without any hindrance which will help you to fix all kind of ping issues, packet loss, latency, jitter and a lot more other issues. Best part about no ping is the FPS boost section wherein you guys can enable these optimizations to improve your FPS as well. Once again no ping doesn't only help you to fix your network issues but also help you boost your FPS. I have left a free download link for you guys to go and check it out for yourself. Make sure to go check out no ping for free from the link in the description below. Next step is cleaning up your shader cache and for that simply search for and for that simply search for disk cleanup on your PC and press enter. Select your local disk C, click on OK and then you wanna have to select DirectX shader cache, delivery optimization files and recycle bin if you have anything over there. Also click on temporary files and make sure that all of that is being cleaned up. Click on OK and then click on delete files. This will delete all of the shader cache and it will allow your game to recompile and which will fix all of the unnecessary issues which might be causing any contradictions while you're playing the game. The next step to fix all of your issues in Marvel Rivals would be verifying the game files. And for that, simply right click on Marvel Rivals and click on properties. Over here, you have to come down and click on installed files and then select verify integrity of the game file. This will run a recheck on your installed files and find if anything is corrupted. If it is, it will automatically fix it. 
Once all of that is done, I would recommend you guys to drop into the game for the best in game settings. Once you're in the game, head over to the settings gear and then click on settings. Now you have to make sure that your display mode is always set to windowed borderless. For anti aliasing and super resolution type, if you guys have an Nvidia graphics card, go with Nvidia DLSS, FSR3 if you have an AMD graphics card, and Intel Zs if you have an Intel graphics card. After that, you have super resolution mode. I have kept it to balance, but you guys can set to performance if you guys need better FPS. Next, FSR3 frame generation should be turned off as this will induce input latency. But if you guys want to compromise that for extra FPS, you can always do that. Nvidia Reflex Low Latency should be turned on if this is available for you, VSync should be turned off and then for the graphic settings, other than texture details, all of the other settings should be set to low. After that, you have to click on the restart button under reload shaders, click on confirm and restart your game once. That should fix all of your FPS issues in the game. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to leave a like and smash the subscribe button because it really helps me grow the channel. We're already very close to 250,000 subscribers and I would definitely appreciate you guys if you hit that sub to support me. You guys can also get the channel membership to help support the channel and grow and I'll see you all in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.